Assalamualaikum. Hello everyone and a very warm welcome to Lang Lounge with Imran. Today I am bringing forth a topic uh, that has been requested numerous times uh, for detailed discussion. And the topic is what is a research proposal and how to write an effective research proposal. This topic has garnered significant attention as uh, many individuals have expressed their struggles in understanding and crafting a well-written research proposal. <clears throat> Unfortunately, it seems that this uh, crucial area is often neglected uh, with insufficient uh, emphasis on it by professors uh, teaching research and methodology courses. Consequently, scholars uh, completing their coursework find themselves at a loss when it comes to writing proposal or thesis, lacking a solid understanding of the fundamentals. In this video, I aim to fill uh, this gap and provide clarity on what a research proposal uh, entails and how to effectively uh, compose one. By the end of this uh, discussion, uh, viewers uh, will have a comprehensive uh, understanding of the essential components and strategies for creating a successful research proposal. So what is a research proposal? A research proposal is a detailed plan outlining what a researcher intends to study, why the study is important, how the study will be concluded, and what outcomes are expected. It serves as a blueprint for the research project and is typically submitted to funding agencies, academic institutions, or supervisors for approval before the research begins. So the question is how to write an effective research proposal. So the first thing which you should bear in your mind that your title should be uh, comprehensive and to the point, catchy. Because uh, if you start with a clear and concise title that accurately reflects the content of your proposal, uh, that research proposal would definitely be appreciated. The title of a research proposal is a concise and descriptive uh, phrase that captures the essence of the proposed study. Uh, it serves as the first point of uh, a contact for readers, providing them with a clear understanding of the topic and scope of the research. The title plays a crucial role uh, in grabbing the reader's attention, conveying uh, the significance of the study and enticing them to delve deeper into the proposal. So why is it that the title has uh, importance uh, in a research proposal? Because uh, uh, the title is the first thing that readers uh, encounter uh, when they come across the research proposal. A well-crafted uh, title immediately captures uh, their interest and encourages them to read further. Clarity and focus are the two important ingredients for writing an effective uh, research title. A clear and descriptive title uh, communicates the main topic and focus uh, on the research. It helps readers understand what the study is about and what they can expect to learn uh, from it. The title should highlight the relevance and significance of the research uh, topic. It should convey why the study is important and how readers should care about it. The title serves as a guide for the research process, uh, providing researchers uh, um, with a clear uh, direction and focus. Uh, it helps them uh, stay on track and ensures that the study remains aligned with its objectives. A well-chosen uh, title increases the visibility and discoverability of the research proposal. It enables researchers to effectively communicate their work to a wider audience and attract potential collaborators or funding opportunities. A compelling title enhances the credibility and academic recognition of the research. It reflects the quality and rigor of the study. 
and making it more likely to be taken seriously by peers, reviewers, and potential readers. So, overall, uh, the title of a research proposal plays a crucial role in shaping readers' uh, perception of the study and determining its impact and visibility within the academic community. It should be carefully crafted to uh, accurately represent the research topic, convey its significance, and engage the interest of a potential readers. The second important uh, ingredient of a, a research proposal is the introduction. The introduction of a, uh, of a research proposal or a paper is the opening section that provides background information, context, and an overview of the study. It serves to uh, introduce the topic to the reader, uh, establish the significance of the research, and present the purpose and objective of the study. Uh, the introduction sets the stage for the rest of the paper and aims to capture the reader's uh, interest while providing essential information to understand the research. What are the key components of an introduction? The first thing is background information. The introduction begins by providing background information on the topic of the research. Uh, this may include a brief overview of previous studies, theories or uh, key concepts relevant uh, to the research area. The goal is to contextualize the study and explain why it is important uh, to investigate further. Within the introduction, uh, there is uh, another thing which should be given due importance and that is problem statement or research question. The introduction uh, presents uh, the central problem or research question that the study aims to address. The statement articulates uh, the specific uh, issue uh, or gap in knowledge that uh, the research seeks to explore uh, and provides a rationale for why it is worthy of investigation. Then you have to be uh, clear, crystal clear about uh, the purpose and objectives. The introduction outlines the purpose and objective of the study, explaining what the researcher hopes to achieve uh, through the research. This may uh, include identifying the goals of the study, outlining the research aims and explaining how the study will contribute to existing knowledge in the field. The introduction clarifies the scope of the study by defining the boundaries and parameters of the research. It acknowledges any limitation or constraints that may impact the study's findings or uh, generalizability. The introduction highlights the significance uh, of the research by explaining why it matters and how it contributes uh, to the broader field of the study. This may involve discussing potential implications, um, applications or benefits of the research findings. In short, uh, the introduction serves as a roadmap for the reader, guiding them through the research process and setting expectations for what will be uh, covered in the paper. It should be clear, concise, and uh, engaging, capturing the reader's interest while providing essential context and uh, information to understand the research. Okay, within the proposal, you got to be crystal clear about your research problem or question you intend to address and justify the significance of the research by explaining its relevance and potential contribution to the field. So what exactly do we mean by uh, the problem of research question or problem statement? Basically, it refers uh, to the central issue or inquiry that a research project seeks to address. It's essentially the core question that the research aims to answer or the problem that it seeks to investigate. Uh, this question should be clear, focused and specific enough to guide the research process and provide a basis for generating hypotheses, designing methods and interpreting results. So a well-formulated research question typically clearly identifies the main topic or area of interest, articulates a specific aspect or dimension of the topic that is worthy of investigation, states the question in a way that is feasible to answer through empirical uh, research, highlights the significance or relevance of the question within the broader context of the field, uh, is framed in a way that allows for a systematic inquiry 
and analysis. I'll give you an example. Uh, in a study on the on the effects of social media on uh, mental health among adolescents, a research question could be: How does daily use of uh, social media platforms impact the self-esteem levels of teenagers aged between 13 to 18 in urban areas? This is going to be your uh, research question or problem statement on which you would like to carry on your uh, research. So the problem of research question is crucial because uh, it guides the, uh, the entire research process uh, uh, from the formulation of hypothesis uh, to the selection of research methods and the interpretation of findings. A well-defined research question ensures that the study remains focused and, the, and, uh, and that the results contribute meaningfully uh, to the existing knowledge base in the field. The other important thing is literature review. A literature review is a critical summary and evaluation of existing research uh, literature on a specific topic or research uh, question. Uh, it provides an overview of the current state of knowledge in the field, highlighting key findings, theories, methodologies, and uh, debates relevant to the topic of interest. So what are the key components of uh, uh, effective or comprehensive literature review. The literature review begins with identifying and selecting relevant academic sources such as scholarly articles, books, uh, dissertations, and conference papers that address the research topic. The review summarizes the main findings, arguments, and methodologies uh, used in the selected literature. Uh, it may categorize the literature and themes, uh, theories, or research methodologies. A literature review involves critically uh, evaluating the quality and reliability of the sources. Uh, this includes assessing the strengths and uh, weaknesses of the research methods, the validity of the findings and uh, the credibility of the authors. Through the review, researchers can identify gaps or inconsistencies uh, in the existing literature. These gaps highlight areas where further research is needed or where new perspectives could contribute to advancing knowledge in the field. A literature review often provides the theoretical framework or conceptual basis for the research study. It may uh, discuss various uh, theoretical perspectives relevant to the topic and explain how these theories inform the research approach. So overall, a literature review serves as a foundation for the research study, helping researchers uh, uh, situate their work within the existing scholarly conversation, uh, identify research gaps and develop hypotheses or research questions. It demonstrates uh, uh, the researcher's familiarity with the field and provides a rationale uh, for the research approach and uh, methodologies chosen for the study. Research objectives or hypotheses uh, should be clearly stated. Uh, they should uh, clearly state the specific objectives of your uh, research or the hypothesis uh, you plan to test. Ensure that uh, your objectives or hypotheses are specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. Uh, the acronym uh, for, for this very uh, process is called SMART. The other important thing is methodology. Methodology refers to the systematic framework of procedures, techniques, and guidelines used by researchers to conduct a study or investigation. It outlines the approach and methods that will be uh, implied to collect, analyze, and interpret data in order to answer research questions or test hypotheses effectively. So the first thing in methodology is research design. This refers to the overall plan or strategy for conducting the study. It involves decisions about the type of research that is qualitative or quantitative, or is it mixed method uh, research. The study scope uh, and objectives and the structure of data collection and analysis. Methodology specifies uh, the methods and techniques that will be used to gather uh, data relevant to the research question. Uh, this may uh, include surveys, interviews, observation, uh, experiment, uh, 
archival research or literature review. Methodology outlines how participants or, uh, or samples will be uh, selected for inclusion in the study. Uh, this includes uh, decisions about the size and composition of the sample, as well as uh, sampling techniques such as uh, random sampling, non-random sampling, uh, stratified sampling or convenience sampling. Methodology describes the procedure and techniques that will be used to analyze the data collected during the study. Uh, uh, this may involve statistical analysis, uh, qualitative coding and interpretation, uh, content analysis or other analytical approaches. Methodology addresses issues of validity, uh, the, uh, the extent to which the study measures what it intends to measure and reliability, uh, the consistency and accuracy of the study's uh, findings. Uh, researchers must ensure that their methods are valid and reliable in order to uh, draw meaningful conclusions uh, from the data. Methodology uh, includes ethical consideration related to the treatment of research participants' uh, data, confidentiality and privacy, informed uh, uh, consent and potential risk or harms uh, associated with the study. Researchers must adhere to ethical guidelines and uh, standards to protect the rights and well-being of participants. Methodology acknowledges uh, the limitations and assumptions um, uh, inherent in the study and methods. Uh, this includes the potential uh, biases, constraints or uncertainties that may affect the validity and generalizability of the findings. So, <clears throat> so overall, methodology provides a roadmap for conducting the research study, ensuring that it is conducted systematically, rigorously, and ethically. It allows researchers uh, to uh, maintain transparency and uh, uh, reproductibility in their work and to produce reliable and valid uh, findings uh, that contribute to knowledge in their field. Also, uh, write the expected outcomes at the end of your research proposal, like describe the anticipated outcomes or findings of your research and how uh, they will contribute to knowledge in the field. Discuss any potential uh, implication or application of your findings. Don't forget to uh, come up with references. Provide a list of references uh, cited in your proposal uh, following the appropriate citation style, um, either APA, or MLA. Appendices, uh, if necessary, uh, include any additional materials that support your proposal, such as a survey, um, instruments, interviews, guidelines, or informed uh, consent forms. When writing your research proposal, remember to uh, tailor it to the specific requirements of your audience um, and use clear and concise uh, language. Uh, proof uh, read your uh, proposal uh, carefully to ensure uh, it is free of errors and uh, uh, communicates your idea effectively. Additionally, uh, seek a feedback from uh, colleagues, uh, mentors or advisors to improve the quality of your proposal before submission. Well, that was all uh, for today's discussion. I hope that this topic, uh, which was requested so many times, uh, it would be useful uh, for those who are, you know, uh, in the process or in the struggle of writing uh, their thesis or proposal. Uh, this video would for sure help them. And still, if uh, there is any problem, uh, particularly in the field of writing an effective proposal or writing uh, thesis, uh, you are most welcome. You can leave your comment and I would definitely uh, get back to your comment to answer. With this, I would like to wrap up today's uh, discussion. Those who have not subscribed us yet, they are requested to subscribe to the channel so that we could grow as a family, so that we could grow this channel and be in safe clutches. Uh, see you soon, inshallah. Allah Hafiz.